This year, National Cancer Survivors Day is Sunday, June 5th. Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center at Terrebonne General Medical Center will be celebrating all of the brave individuals who have fought and overcome cancer in our community. If you or a loved one has been affected by cancer, we will be celebrating life this Friday, June 3rd, at a luncheon. All right, to your health with Terrebonne General Medical Center. Our guests are here, and of course, no strangers to you in the audience, Dr. Harry McGaw, medical oncologist, and Clark Curry, Director of Oncology Services at Terrebonne General Medical Center. Welcome aboard, gang. Thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, National Cancer Survivors Day. Clark, you're going to get the, the first one here. Talk about it. What is that? Sure. Well, National Cancer Survivors Day is actually a worldwide recognition. Uh, it is a day of celebration throughout communities in the United States, Canada, and in other participating countries. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the focus is on survivorship. However, we, look, we, we recognize not only the cancer patients, but the caregivers on this day as well. Uh, and actually, the day is this Sunday. We will be celebrating on this Friday at Terrebonne General. Okay. Dr. McGaw, I've heard you talk many times about cancer or the big C word, everything, but you know what? What exactly is it? Well, cancer occurs when body cells divide without any mechanism to control the division. The cancer just continues to grow. The cells continue to grow. And cancer can spread in a couple of different ways. Uh, cancer can just grow in place and more or less spread roots out like a tree. Uh, and it can grow quite large that way. Or cancer can get in the bloodstream. The cells can shed into the bloodstream. And then the cancer can go wherever the blood can go, which is anywhere. And then finally, cancer can get in the lymphatic system. And a lot of people we don't know, have, don't know that they have a lymphatic system, but there are lymph nodes all over the body connected by little tubes like veins. And cancer cells frequently gets in the lymphatic system and can spread that way as well. Okay, very good explanation. And there, are, there are over 100 different types of cancers. Really? I didn't realize there were so many. A cancer survivor, Clark, here. Who is a cancer survivor? How, how do we best define a cancer survivor? Well, according to the National Cancer Survivors Foundation, they defined it, define it as, quote, anyone living with a history of cancer from the moment of diagnosis through the remainder of life. And for the studio audience, for those of you all who are living with cancer, we're going to celebrate that this weekend as we do across the nation and across the world. All right, very good. Now, Dr. McGaw, you, would, you just said that there are over 100 types of cancers. The most common types, what would they be? Well, the most common types would be breast cancer, lung cancer, and colon cancer. But I have some statistics here which I'd like to review. Okay. Uh, bladder cancer, there were, there were, these, these are statistics for 2010. There were over 70,000 new cases, over 207,000 new breast cancer cases, and that is the most common type of cancer nowadays. There were 142,000 cases in 2010 of colon and rectal cancer over 43,000 new cases of endometrial or uterine cancer, over 53,000 new cases of kidney or renal cell cancer, 43,000 cases of leukemia, 222,520 new cases of lung cancer in 2010, which is an amazing statistic. And at least locally, that seems the most common cancer we see in this community. Melanoma, over 68,000 new cases. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, 65,000 new cases. Pancreatic carcinoma, over 43,000 new diagnoses. Prostate cancer, over 217,700 new diagnoses in 2010. This is the second most common type of cancer. And finally, thyroid cancer, with over 44,000 new diagnoses in 2010. Now, you talked about one of the more common cancers in, in our region. What, what are some other ones? The most common cancers in this region are uh, breast cancer, colon cancer, and lung cancer. And prostate cancer is high, but I guess uh, that should be included. But prostate cancer is often a less serious cancer. But and smoking seems to have something to do with all of these cancers, and that's still yeah. a big problem in this area. Okay. 
Clark Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center at TGMC. How are y'all going to celebrate National uh, Cancer Survivors Day? What are y'all going to do? Well, as I mentioned, we have a luncheon set up this Friday. It'll be June 3rd at the, Mer at the uh, Medical Atrium building over at Terrebonne General. Mm -hmm. And uh, for your audience, we still have some slots available. And if I could, let me give that number. So if you'd like to simply call this number, we'd be happy to set you up. Um, this is for a survivor and one guest. Uh, but we would be very pleased to have you. Uh, the number to call is 873-4616. And the folks there will be happy to help you and set, set that up for you. There will be a lunch. We'll have an inspirational speaker for someone who's gone through this journey of cancer. Mm -hmm. He's going to share with us. Uh, I'm going to discuss a little about the new building that's coming up at the end of summer so folks can see how we're on task there. Uh, there will be a bake-off, I understand. A lot of fun, a lot of good food. So uh, we invite you to be a part of that. All right, very good. What we're going to do, we're going to take a break here from Terrebonne General Medical Center. We're going to be right back with more important information with our guests. Don't go away. together a crew of top specialists and you can do amazing things cardiac care at TGMC it all begins here I'm a director here at the Little Theater in Homa sometimes I've acted and I've even played in the orchestra my name is Karen Schilling and I was treated for breast cancer at Mary Bird Perkins at TGMC Quality medical care and compassion should go hand in hand. And I definitely got that at Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. My doctors were incredible and the technology is state of the art. I believe that everyone at Mary Bird Perkins at TGMC deserves a standing ovation. All right, we continue with our guests and I guess this one goes out to, to both of you. Uh, the other kinds of cancer support at Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. What does it do to provide for patients? Who wants to go first? Doc, you want to take that first? Uh, well, I'm going to start with the Nosotros, okay. uh, which is a 10-step uh, to recovery support group uh, led by Dr. Raul Doria. Uh, it's for all cancer patients in their families. It's held in Terrebonne General's Medical Atrium Conference Room Suite 100. Mm -hmm. For more information, you call Dr. Doria's office at 985-857-8093. It's led by Dr. Doria, and patients meet there, and uh, people find they have common problems, and they get support from one another, and it, and it works. Yeah, so they get to talk amongst each other, too, I guess, huh? Yes. So they get it out on the table. Clark? Well, one of the things, too, it, there's something we have called Bosom Buddies, and I'm not sure it's on your screen, but um, Bosom Buddies are, is for, there it is, it's for, it's held in the TGMC's Outreach Center over in the mall. It meets, you see there, the fourth Wednesday from 11.30 to 1.30. It's led by our uh, nurse navigator and uh, all sorts of topics that are important to breast cancer survivors and just some good information in general. Uh, for more information, you can call the number there on your screen at 876-7577. So if you could be a part of that, we'd love to have you. All right, and then we also have another one, Look Good, feel better and, and I like all these names uh, who comes up with all these names Doc that's you that comes up with that or what no I'm not that witty <laughs> <laughs> all right who wants to take look good feel better well look good feel better is a, it, it's it's branded across the nation it's a program whereby again there on your screen uh, licensed cosmetologists will come in and help with just makeovers with hair and makeup and that sort of things uh, it's that sort of thing for some of our patients. As you see there, it meets January, March, so every other month during the year. And again, for more information, there's a number on your screen at 876 7577. Uh, a, a, a big plus for a lot of the folks in our community. They really seem to enjoy that. All right, very good. And I think the next one we have up on the screen, I think it's going to be Camp Bluebird, I'm pretty sure. And we've heard about Camp Bluebird. Yeah, Camp Bluebird's been. Uh 
held annually now for several years, and it's probably the uh, largest event that Terrible and Jerome puts on, in my opinion. It probably does the most good. Uh, it's a two-day, one-night adult cancer camp, and if camp conjures images of sleeping outside and getting harassed by mosquitoes and that, so <laughs> don't worry, this is all inside. Good. The camp allows participants to enjoy various uh, fun activities with other campers, and it's really, uh, in essence, a support group that lasts for two days. It's held annually in October. For more information, you call Terrible and General Social Services Department at 985-873-4080. All right, let's talk also uh, something that's very important, the TGMC's, the wig room. Absolutely. Uh, well, it's a special room that we have available for our cancer patients, and the supplies that we have there are wigs and scarves, turbans, and hats for all the cancer patients. Uh, we've, we've actually worked with cancer patients that, in fact, are not our cancer patients who've moved into the community, and we can work with those folks if they get in touch with us. Uh, it's, as it says there on the screen, it's available, available by appointment only. We do go through our nurse navigator there at the hospital. You see her number there on the screen, and you see what the hours uh, uh, when we're available from Monday through Thursday, 8 until 4.30 p.m., and then on Fridays from 8 until noon. Again, a, a big plus for our cancer patients. Before we tell the audience how, how do they learn more about National Cancer Survivors Day, tell me a little bit more about the new center and how Mary Bird Perkins at TGMC is gonna help out the community. Fill us in on some things that are going on. Absolutely. I, I think this is very, very important because uh, the new center is not someone